Hi, welcome to Simcha, a celebration of life. I'm your host, Eitan Berger. Ten years ago, the Perez Peace Center in Israel established a sports program designed to bridge differences and diffuse stereotypes amongst teens using sport. Living in Jewish and Arab villages just minutes apart, this program provided the only opportunity for these teens to interact. Recently, the Israel Center, together with Partnership Together, hosted four Jewish teens, four Arab teens, and their coaches for the Rabin Memorial Peace Soccer Tournament. The main objective of this day is actually to have fun and to bond. So thank you and let's have a great day. The idea behind bringing actually the team is to show people different aspects of Israel. Unfortunately, today in the news and the media, Everything you read about Israel is negative and got negative connotation. And it's just to bring this wonderful project and to show that in Israel, people live together, people have fun together, people talk to each other. There isn't hatred amongst people. And we have this amazing project that basically is building bridge between peoples, between Muslims and Jews who live in Israel, who train together, who, by the way, physically live like 300 meters one from each other. And this is actually the only way of getting together and the idea is to show that a 14 year old girl is a 14 year old girl and they all share the same concerns and the same problems with boyfriends and the same small enjoyments in life and the idea was actually to bring them to Cape Town and to play with various teams from different um, religious backgrounds from different ethnic backgrounds and to have some good time together and build bridges and show that we all 14 well I'm not but they're all 14 year old girls playing together having fun and just enjoying them each other's company. The Paris Center of Peace founding in 1996. Paris is about the Shimon Paris. He's the president of Israel right now. Then he was just a member of the parliament. The thing is very simple. Not just the government can do peace. And if they don't do it peace or it's take too long, also the people can do peace. So the thing, instead to just wait for the government, it just, the fear is growing up because we don't know the other ones. If I'm Jewish, I don't know Muslims. Besides that, we live next to each other. We don't do it, we're afraid of them. And we look for excuses to meet them all around. The idea is to make peace building between the Jewish and all our Arab neighbors inside Israel and around Israel. At first, we had the problem with the language, you know? because uh, we couldn't communicate, but now it feels natural, you know? We're friends, we don't look at each other, uh, she's Muslim, she's Jewish, we look, she's my friend, she's my friend, you see? First of all, I, I feel weird. I don't used to Arab girls and Jewish girls together because we have a separation in our country, but now it feels totally normal and I love to play together. I feel like we should play all the time together because we're strong together and we're kind of family. In all our projects, what makes us different than all other social projects is we always mix between the group we bring together. The thing is twin peace soccer school. So we got here just participant from Jewish team and Muslim team. Just they training just football like everybody else. But once per month we get them together, we mix between them and let them to play together, not once again each other like in the real world. So beside that, because the language is a barrier, we use the football as interlanguage. Uh, 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 activities and more than that we give them lessons about Arabic and about Hebrew we do in cultural activities just also just we try to leave the, the tongue alone so we take in dancing we drumming together we playing and of course and you can see it also in the tournament the thing is not about the competitive not just winning they know even they lost in they're winning in their heart. If we weren't part of the P uh, Paris Peace Center, we wouldn't even know each other. We live 15 minutes apart, but we are not in the same circles at all. And it's sad because um, then we live with just really um, unrealistic stereotypes. So this 
is an amazing program, amazing opportunity for us. The trainer was very nice. إن نتعامل مع بنات يعني مش من المدينة اللي إحنا جديد فيها ولا الدولة اللي إحنا جديد فيها كان بجنن البنات ما توقعتهم مش يعني هذا بكم كثير 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 مناح حبيتهم لعبوا على حسب القوانين لعبوا زي ما إحنا بدنا وكيفنا Enthusiastic members from the Paris Peace Center's sports program recently participated in the Rabin Memorial Peace Soccer Tournament held for the first time right here in Cape Town. The program provided the opportunity for the participants to express how they feel Jews and Arabs can live together peacefully and how sport has provided them the opportunity to do so. The coexistence team interacted with teenagers from another country with various backgrounds and cultures, both on the soccer field and socially. This mishlacha uh, that they came from Israel for the part through the partnership, we were very happy to have them, and uh, it was a very successful uh, delegation. The girls that are 14 to 16 years old. They enjoyed very much, and we had what we liked very much that we involved uh, children from all the other schools, other colors, and uh, we, we really developed that these children will try to live in peace all over the world. They came from uh, some different backgrounds, like our children, and we have here an example from children of Langa, and Erzelia, and San Cyprian, and Arab girls, and Israeli girls. And they all play together soccer through sport. We can promote peace and also through dialogue. They stay together in boarding houses or at the people house. And they really enjoy. In fact, they don't want to leave. It was lots of fun. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was cool. Cool to make friends inside the court, I think. Yeah, <laughs> and to play soccer. I like different religions. It was like, I like the music. The and to play yeah. diff with different people, not yeah. only people from Cape Town. It was fun. We got to interact with a lot of people, new people. It was also fun meeting the Israeli team and they came to our school this morning. They wanted to experience what it would be like to be in a school in South Africa um, compared to a school in Israel. What I liked was the Israelis and the Herzlians bonded at school yesterday and today. And the friendships from a school day translating into sports is great. I think they need more of us because there's too little of these type of functions that they can understand and interact with different groups and maybe have fun. It was amazing because the, it's, the, it's their first time to play the tournament, the girls. They, use, they, they only used to play with the boys, so it's their first time to play amongst the girls. עטיפיות שלי לבוא לדרום אפריקה זה להתחבר יותר לבנות, להכיר אותן, וזה באמת קרה לי וסנדי וכל שאר הבנות ממש ביחד. ושכאילו נכיר גם לדרום אפריקה את הבנות היהודיות והערביות בדרום אפריקה, ושקט. Not a lot of them been in out of the country. And it was so exciting for them to travel so long to come to a different country and to mix with other kids. And I think for me it's, it's so important that the kids meet and, uh, and uh, broke that circle from the village outside to meet others, talking, to learn. Sometimes so we talk about it a lot before we came, but it's different when you hear and you meet and I think they enjoy and you look and uh, feed all the day. They ask what, they, they play only two uh, tourneys and it was uh, not enough for them. They, 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 they ask for more, yes. Actually, we came just yesterday and we did the, uh, with the bus, a trip with the bus. It was amazing to know this place. We went to the uh, mountain table. It's amazing. <laughs> And um, we was we were in the slave um, slave museum museum. It was very it was also a very 
ha a strong experience. So, so, and today we're here, and tomorrow we're leaving. It's too short, but that's uh, all the times that we have. I was really impressed by um, Nelson Mandela. We uh, we hear about him everywhere we go, and you know you hear more and more stories, and you, you see how much a person can um, can make a difference, and how much a little thing can become enormous. And uh, I think I hope I personally hope that. Um, this program will also make this much of a change. Actually, the purpose of the visit here is dual um, goals. One is, is to be here and, as I said, to show a different aspect of Israel, to show that there is coexistence and amazing projects happening in Israel. And Israel is not this terrible place that is being portrayed. It's actually quite awesome place. And the other one is actually for them to get inspired. Because if you think of building bridges and playing together and seeing people as people, I think that South Africa actually showed us that this is the ground zero of the change and understanding that we can live together, we can be different and respect each other and live together and, and do wonderful things together. So I think that this was very inspiring for them as well. Sadly, we've come to the end of this week's episode of Simcha. Thank you so much for joining us. If you'd like to be in touch, please find us on Facebook at Spirit Sister Productions and drop us a line. From myself, Eitan Berger, and the whole team here at Simcha, have a great week and goodbye.